Saturday stages of Rally Spain and another seven to run today, including the classic El Montmel, marking the longest test of this year's rally. It's game on as well. Sebastian Auger just 4.8 seconds clear of Kalirov and Pera, with Thierry Neuville 7.7 .7 further back. And it was Neuville who was fastest out of the blocks this morning. The Belgian, having made some changes to his I-20 overnight, was heading in the right direction with setup. Still not perfect, but better than day one. The gap to Rovan Pera down to 6.2 seconds. The battle is not over, that's for sure. We're going to push, but uh, I feel like I, I'm pushing, but I don't feel comfortable. You know, um, last year I, I, I felt much more sure about everything and here it's a bit on and off um, difficult to feel the grip um, and i had a bit of understeer in there so we're going to work on that but let's see craig breen leading the m sport charge down in seventh had a good start to the morning his task to catch elvin evans in the fight for sixth the gap down to 1.8 after the opening stage the car is really really good today so um the boys had a lot of work to do last night they changed uh, a lot of things so i have to thank them for that and uh, Hopefully we can read the rewards for today. When Evans arrived at the stop line and saw the gap had come down, the Welshman was straight to the point. We need to improve, you know, that's the, that's the bottom line. Um, still, still work to do. Stage 10 and Sebastian Auger responded to the early pace of Neuville. The Frenchman fastest through, 2.6 quicker than the Hyundai man and 4.3 clear of Rov and Pera. Auger's rally lead now up to 9.7 seconds. So far the car is working well and I enjoy so we have to carry on like this. Elmont Mel should have closed out the morning loop of stages but it's one of those that takes no prisoners. Gus Greensmith caught out and it brought his Ford Puma to a stop in the middle of the road. The car was going nowhere fast. Both he and Jonas Anderson perfectly okay but the stage was cancelled and the crews headed back to Salou for midday service. Into the afternoon then and Sebastian Auger started as he meant to go on. Another stage win and his lead extended to 12 seconds over Rovan Pera. Another stage win on 13 and that lead was now up to 15.9. Auger could not be stopped. It feels really good. I really enjoy the stages. So as long as we stay out of trouble, it should be. But uh, you know, uh, you never know what can happen. So we have to keep the same, doing the same. Behind him in the stage came Oit Tanak, second fastest through, but over 10 seconds behind Neuville overall. Lying fourth, Tanak was taking a methodical approach to his rally. Just having fun for myself, but uh, not enjoying, but uh, yeah, it just feels, yeah, we definitely feel a bit more on the edge, but all okay. Stage 14, El Montmel, and after its earlier cancellation, for many, this was the first time it was being run. And the one man that all the fans have turned up to see is local hero Danny Sordo. Fittingly, on this classic Spanish stage, he was unstoppable. A stage win, five seconds quicker than Neuville, with Auger just a tenth further back. I really like the stage. I don't know the time, and I, I hope it will be a good time, but uh, honestly, I, I just drive, I enjoy, he was more clean. The stage, like, I really like it, uh, and... Uh, I promised to my friends I need to do a best time today, so I need to try at least. Just the final two kilometer super special to run back in Salou. A tight, twisty, tricky stage that in the past has caught people out. No such worries for Sebastian Ogier though, he leads going into the final day. It's been a very enjoyable day for us. We had uh, good fun in the car and the uh, time we're following, so it's always uh, what you will dream for, you know, when you come to a rally, uh, to be a uh, as fast as that and, uh, and like I say, really, uh, really a pleasure driving those stages. Four stages remain. Can Sebastian Auger take his first win of 2022? Remember, it was here in 2015 on the final stage of the rally that Auger made a mistake and threw it all away. Will lightning strike twice? Rally Spain comes to its conclusion tomorrow. <laughs>